hello. I'm starting a minute early to give you guys a second to get those notifications so that you can watch me unveil what I got at Dollar General. Super excited, a little bit nervous. Hello, hello, say hey when you jump on. Y'all, we are beauty balling on a budget today. Say hey when you jump on. If I have an echo, it's because I've said it a bazillion times, I feel like, but I always wanna update you in case you're new here. Um, first of all, I'm Cameron Carson, so I'm a professional makeup artist. I do spray tans. Um, we just added hair, and of course we do accessories. So hello, how cute are these? I um, have the watermelon earrings and then the beaded bracelet to match, and I totally have a Memorial Day vibe happening right now. And of course, we'll do a red lip. Hey guys, hey guys. But right now, I'm in my vacant house because we are waiting um, to be able to close, um, and then we have some other fun things up our sleeves. So I figured this is the quietest place, and I also think that I am gonna have the best reception here. So I'm at my vacant house in the kitchen. So, hi guys, hi guys. I have to be honest, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> my mom needed, I sent out an email to all my, um, to all of my clients this morning if you're on my email list and we literally went to Dollar Tree or Dollar General, okay, Dollar, the Dollar General for paper towels and I was like, y'all, I should just do a Dollar General makeup challenge. Why not? First of all, makeup, no matter where you go, is not cheap. Let me start by saying that. It's just not cheap. I got everything I wanted to get because I'm like, if I'm going to get it, I just need to get it. The only thing that I forgot, like I didn't get brushes because that is just a complete waste. So I have my own brushes. I will say that. Um, and I also, um, what else did I forget? Setting spray, not really worried about that. But I still ended up spending, so some of the things were like $5, cause you know, it's not Dollar Tree, so everything is like $5 and less in the makeup section, but I tried to choose some things that were like multi-use, and then I tried to choose things that were a dollar, that I really wanted the things that were $5, but I was trying, okay, I was trying. So. Here we go. I spent $47. It's still the Dollar General and I still spent $47, but for the love of makeup. So let me first show you what I got. The one thing I've already taken out of the package is this sponge here. It's called Believe Beauty. They also have Wet n Wild at the Dollar General I went into. And I actually like Wet n Wild, so I did not get anything Wet n Wild because I feel like you can get that anywhere and that's not true Dollar General makeup. So I have gotten my sponge out and just, I just dampened it so I didn't have to do that. All right, this is what I got for the eyes. Picked up some lashes, which I actually hate this kind of lash. And I'll tell you why when we put them on, but it was the most glam lash they had. Um, along with the lashes, I got some latex free clear glue. I also hate clear glue, but that's okay. Um, I also got this Believe Beauty Medium Deep Highlight and Contour Palette, which this to me looks like a blush, so I don't know how that is going to be a contour, but I'm going to use this as my bronzer, and I'm praying it's going to be dark enough, okay? Um, I got a light medium brow pencil with a spoolie on the other side that apparently this is, this is ideal to define natural and bold brows and it has a unique slant tip. Um, I also got this Believe Beauty um, nearly nude eyeshadow palette, which I, these are very pretty in person and they actually, I, I just have wanted to just put my finger in there, but I've been waiting to do this. So I also, um, they look very like smooth actually and creamy. So I mean, we're about to find out. I got the LA Colors water resistant liquid liner with a soft phone tip. I got the LA Colors Loose Powder in light. They didn't have any other color, but we're gonna pretend that's some Laura Mercier up in this house. 
Um, I did get an LA Colors Waterproof Mascara. I figured if I'm putting on lashes, top mascara really doesn't matter. And I have a really hard time with la um, mascara smudging, so waterproof mascara, that was legit a dollar. Okay, and then I got, y'all, I have not used another foundation in a year. No lie, when I started with the Envy Airbrush, it was last end of March, beginning of April, right over spring break. I have not touched another foundation in a year. So hopefully this is my shade. We're about to see. I could literally look like this bag right here. Who knows? I also got the LA Colors Conceal It Concealer in Light, and this looks very golden. So my under eyes might look like they have jaundice. Who knows? And then I also got the Believe Beauty Radiant Primer. So here we go. We're just going to get it. Oh, one more thing. I picked up the Believe Beauty Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Cherry on top to match my accessories. And when I, I'm going to spill a little bit because um, before Andy and I flew out to California in the beginning of January, we did go in the Dollar General to get some snacks. Um, and some other like travel things that we needed and I picked up one of these in pink So I'm not gonna lie. I like this and I'm keeping it. So These are really good actually. So just want to let you know that I'm not gonna lie I've tried this before in another color. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with priming I'm literally gonna pretend I have my mirror right here. I'm gonna pretend like I'm at home trying to figure this out Let me take these earrings out I mean, have you guys used Dollar General makeup? Do y'all do buy your makeup legitimately at the Dollar General? I need to know, okay? The other thing that saddens me wholeheartedly, okay, is that this Radiant Primer that was $4 has a security tag on the back. Now, if you are stealing makeup from the Dollar General, don't wear makeup, okay? Go outside, crush up a flower in a, what is it called? Mortar and pestle and mix it with some essential oils and you probably could have a blusher. But do not, for the love of all, oh, steal makeup from the Dollar General. Okay, so we're gonna do some radiant primer right here. I have never tried any of this except this one thing which I told you about. So we're gonna start with our radiant primer all over the skin. I have just moisturized. I love Dollar General, but I haven't tried their makeup. You know what, girl? Dollar General has some cute things. I bought some cups in there over Valentine's Day that have uh, like lashes on them, and I thought I was being so cute. It actually was three, um, three cups, and it had like, they're like to-go cups, and they're pink. And they had a little lid on them, like a little white lid. So it looked like you were like getting a cute little cup from like Starbucks, but they were reusable. Long story short, um, I put that white lid on there and the lid didn't stay. So I had coffee all over my car. And then I was very upset with Dollar General and wanted a dollar refund, but I kept my cups and called it a loss. All right, we have primed Radiant Radiant Primer does not, hi Jennifer Engel, thank you. Radiant Primer does not have a scent and it is a little bit dewy and glowy, so y'all know that's kind of my thing. I also did not get a eyelid primer, although they had one because I was trying to be budget friendly, although I already spent $47. So I thought maybe I would just use a concealer as my lid primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and Oh, there's a brush, okay. So I guess I'm just gonna brush this little baby right on my eyelid. Oh, I'm just nervous, guys, okay. Oh, let's get this little brush on there. Oh gosh, do you guys use concealer with a brush? Like on it? Do concealers have brushes on them? I mean, is this new technology right now? Oh, that's, oh, here we go, oh, here we go. All right, let's get a little um, brush here. And let's just pretend this is like Tarte Shape Tape. Oh yes, honey. We are concealing. Guys, what if at the end of this, this is like the best. Those matte liquid lipsticks are the bomb. You are not lying, Dana. I love them. Look, y'all are gonna all be up in the Dollar Gentral getting these matte liquid lipsticks because they are good. 
I feel like my bride to be a little bit irritated if I start carrying these in my kit, but don't hate. Okay, hey, Shirley, thank you, darling. All right, so now that actually looks fine, actually, looks good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let me set my lids. Let me just bust open right now all the things. I kept my receipt because you know you can return makeup, all kinds of makeup, just return it. Yes, girl, up in that solid gentral. We getting all the good makeup up in the Dallas spot, girl. Next thing is gonna be like dollar spot makeup from Target. Do they even do dollar spot makeup? Um, I don't know, girl, but we're gonna, maybe we'll go to the Dollar Tree, do like a real Zala, a real Zala. Okay, so I opened my loose powder, but I actually think, let me see, what I, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this over there. Watch this, watch it all be good, and we're like, whoa, this looks amazing, who knows. Um, Deanna, was that lid primer? No, it was the LA Conceal in Light. Girl, you love Dollar General Foundation. Allison, are you leaving using this Believe Beauty or what's happening in your world? I mean, give it to me straight now, Allison. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put some of this powder over the lid. Oh yeah, LA Eyebrow Pencil. Oh gosh, guys, I didn't get that one. Oh yes, I did, but it's not the pencil. It's the twist up, did I mess up? Dollar Tree carries e.l.f. Oh, that's good. I did get a couple of e.l.f. Uh, lipsticks in there one day. I just wonder, like, does it sit on the shelf for a long time? I was thinking about this the other day. Like, during quarantine, how much makeup is just legit sitting on a shelf? Like, is everything just going to be expired by the time we're ready to go back to real life? Like, are we going to go into Ulta and every palette's going to be expired. Oh, Bailey, that's it. Okay, good. Well, I, I picked up the right thing. All right. So I told y'all I'm using my own brushes. No big shakes. All right. Let's go in with the, let's go in. This is nice and sticky too. It feels good. feels like it's going to, um, Believe Beauty. She loves it. Oh my gosh, Allison. This is a whole new world for me. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's go ahead and open this. This is the Believe Beauty. I got some scissors right here. This is the Believe Beauty. Lord, I'm a believe it after this. Hallelujah. Believe it. Y'all are going to believe it. All right. The only thing that I don't love about this is there's no transition color. Okay, let's do a little glam school. Transition color is a mid-tone matte shade that helps transition your eye look from lightest to darkest. I do not like using shimmer in the crease. So we're going to bust open our bronzer because y'all know I do not have... Here we go, ooh girl, I do not have no transition shape. So we need to come in with our bronzer. We're gonna use it on our eyelid, okay? So we're gonna use this one right over here. Oh, oh, I mean the, can you see the powder? Woo, honey, <laughs> feel like I'm in a sandstorm. All right, okay, that's, that, is this brush wet? Why is that dark? All right, hold on. I wash them my brushes. I'm like, wait a second. Cannot wait for the brows. Oh, God of mercy. I'm nervous. Okay. All right. So I'm going to kick into this. See that how that's a little bit darker. I think my brush was wet or the color just changes as you touch it. Who knows? All right. We're going to start in this outer corner, girls. We're going to see how this is going. What if this is the best? What if this is the best? That is what I think is making this is this is making me even more nervous. Like, what if this is really great? And, or what if we just know that it doesn't matter what makeup we put on, we can just look fly, honey. We gonna look fly, honey, with our Zala Gentral. You know what else this is really great for? If you are traveling and for some reason your makeup bag is missing. Oh, can you imagine? I'd be so mad, but this is a great backup plan, okay? Because what if you literally are in the middle of like, I don't know where you would be actually, but let's say that you're in the middle of Kansas, okay? And they confiscate or lose your makeup bag. 
Lord knows you could go to a Dollar Gentral and Allison has already told us that Believe Beauty is her favorite. So now you could have yourself a whole fresh look right there at the Dollar Spot. Yes, honey. Um, true story. This is blending out quite nicely, number one. And I'm using a bronzer. It, this bronzer from this palette, this is called the Highlight and Contour Palette. You can, you should not be contouring with a blush, but we're going to give it to them anyway. I don't understand. You see how that's darker? That's very strange to me, but maybe I'm using up all the pigment right now. Who knows? All right, girls. So we have, we have our base layer on. Okay. I'm just doing a simple, this is just going to be fun. So we got our base layer on right now and we're just blending that right, right on up. Let's make sure we get that fresh blend on there. Okay, okay. I think that's probably gonna about do it for our transition shade. Whoops, I'm here for it, I'm here for it. All right, I'm also using, this is bad, but I, I mean, I'm using a MAC brush, but I can't help it. I don't have a dollar brush over here, and I wasn't gonna buy brushes, I just wasn't. I just, I looked at them for like real quick, and I was like, nope, I can't do it. Cheap brushes are the worst brushes. I can't do a cheap brush. Just, that's a lie. I just lied to you. Because actually there's this set. I wish I had one in my kit, but there's a set from Amazon. If you've been following me, it's pink. So you know what I'm talking about. So on Amazon, there's this brush set. It's $12, it's not terrible, okay? All right, we're going back over here to the real blush palette. I mean, the real eyeshadow palette. This is the fake palette, this is the real one. And we're gonna go into this warm brown. And we're gonna put it, lie to us please, we need more fake news. Mom, Lord girl, do we need more fake news up in America if I have to hear one more governor's address that's not saying that we can go back to work. I'm gonna be still up in here doing Dollar Gentral makeup, okay? Because I won't have anything else to do, so just keep one. We'll all be white, fat, with Dollar Tree makeup, just trying to get by, you know what I'm saying? What is it? I mean, can we just go back to work? Can we just wear a mask and go back to work? Anyways, I do want to give a shout out though to, on like a legit note, to all of the people working, the people in healthcare and those at literally at the grocery store, the young lady at Dollar General who checked me out to make this entire video possible because otherwise we'd be at home being bored eating Cheez-Its right now. So anyways... All right, y'all, I'm doing this soft brown, and I don't know if y'all know, but so far, this is looking, this is looking right nice. I'm taking my time to make sure we're getting that, that whole blend instead of that half blend, but I mean, let me get a thumbs up if this shadow is blending out quite nice, quite nice. Look at me. I mean, I should just take pictures of earrings after this. Like, y'all, did my Dollar Gentral makeup, and then I'm going to do a photo shoot. I need to call Ashley to get her to help me. Okay, next, I'm going to take a little flat brush, and we're going to, let's just do a little bit of that shimmery sheen right over here. Um, I still put on makeup. Yes, girl, I put on makeup um, at least a few times a week. I just can't even... Take it because when I look at myself in the mirror after a whole day of homeschooling and managing kids and then like trying to do stuff for my business and trying to pretend like we're going back to work tomorrow and then trying to pretend that we got a stimulus check. Praise y'all who got your stimulus check. So long story short, the shimmer's going on right nice, folks. Can you see it? So anyways, we just need a little bit more laughter. I decided that yesterday I need a little bit more laughter because I have been, can I get, can I get a harder like for those of you who have been a little bit pissy up in the house? Just Let's just all say it, that we have not been happy-go-lucky. We've been just a hair pissy. I know I have. 
and I've been eating too much. I'm, I'm back on that health train. Something else I have to worry with, but Lord knows, won't be able to spray tan y'all, won't be able to fit through the door. You know what I mean? All right, so we went ahead and got this shimmer on and I'm just putting it right down the middle here and I'm leaving this, this part, let me blend this out. I'm leaving this part uh, in here because I'm gonna put something else in there. But so far, we're doing all right over here. We're doing all right. All right, mama needs her wine at 10 a.m. Lord, girl, wine makes me swell. So I have not been drinking wine. The other day, we got takeout at Texas Road. Okay, by the way, I'm, I'm going in with this shade right here. Good girl, making your day. We need some more laugh, more laughter, less being pissed off at our kids. But anyways, or pissed off that all my clothes are still here. So I literally came here and like looking like I should go to the morgue. I was wearing all black with my pink Crocs. And literally I came here and all my clothes are in my room just on the floor because they still need to be moved because we haven't moved yet and closed on our house. And long story short, I came here and I just picked a dress like it was Russian roulette in my closet. And I'm like, yep, this will have to do today. Um, all right, here we go. All right, I don't, I don't know what this is right here. Why? What, what is that? Do you see it? It's just right here, folks. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. What am I gonna do with you? All right, that, that helped a little, but we might, this is a Dollar General challenge. This is not, is Cameron a, a great makeup artist challenge? Maybe it is, maybe y'all are over there just like, I don't even know if she's gonna do that. <laughs> how she can even do that all right let's pat this in and we're gonna be done done with the eyes okay I did also cheat um yoga pants all day girl I put on the dress when I got here but I was in yoga pants okay all right let's clean up this under eyes I cheated because I have my simple makeup wipes over here but and I'll probably have to reprime my under eyes but that's okay so far, this blend is on point. The blend, the blend's good. So Dollar Gentral Eyeshadow, probably will keep it. Not gonna lie, probably will keep it. All right, so next, let's go ahead and do a little bit of eyeliner. Y'all know I don't wear eyeliner a lot, but today we have to get our lash on. So we had to get ourselves a little eyeliner. Honestly, my favorite, one of my favorite eyeliners is the Wet n Wild um, Felt Tip Liquid. Love that, it's super easy to put on. Oh gosh almighty, oh Lord. Okay, so I thought this was like felt tip when you, like the pen is loaded. Does that make sense? The pen is loaded. No, this is like this and you have to like re-dip it to re-wet it. Oh, I'm scared right now. This is just, and it's, it's not felt. It's hard. Jesus, take the wheel. All right, here we go then. Let me, let me, I got to pull this closer to me. All right. Let me pull my mirror. Pause for the cause. Because I got to do a little, a little stretch action. Watch us get in my eye and start burning. I, I shouldn't be talking while I'm doing my eyeliner. Let me not talk. Okay. Okay. Do y'all ever get liquid eyeliner in your eyes and then literally your eyes burn for like the next hour or so? Yep, that's me. All right, this is probably the best it's gonna be. This is the worst eyeliner. Horrible brush. Oh, horrible brush. All right, and I wanna bring it down like really thin in here. Oh, this could be an accident. This could be an accident, okay. All right, that's just gonna have to do. It's a little bit thick and I hate this wing, but we're gonna, it's not really a wing. It just looks like a little like bunny nub that's happening right there, but we're gonna, we're gonna fix it. It's no problem. You know what? It's just makeup. I, need, I, th I feel like I need to like work faster because there's so much product on there. Oh geez, oh geez, I'm scared. Oh my mercy. 
Okay, all right, okay, okay. Praise God, the makeup artist can do, can do eyeliner. Mm, what a day. The only thing I hate is it is so thick in that inner corner. Lord. All right, so let's give this one a bunny nub because we, you know we have to match both sides. I mean, if we're, oh gosh, if we're doing one, better, better yet, do the other. All right, here we go. Mm, okay, well, that, that's the best we can do. The liner's on. It's a little thick. Your girl made it a little thick. <laughs> All right, let's clean this uh Let's clean this little edge up. Lordy mercy. All right, let me at least make this like an actual point instead of looking like it's a dog's tail that got cut off. You know what I mean? All right, there we go. Okay, all right, well, we got the liner on. It's a little bit thick, but this is a no for me. That's gonna be a no. <laughs> Can we return this one? All right, I just don't like the line. I want like, like something I can literally be like, shushing. I mean, maybe that's how it went, but. All right, I do my lashes and liner and all that stuff at the end. So maybe if we're in the spirit of eyes, I should just do the eyes. I, I am scared about this glue. It does say that it is latex free and I have a little bit of a latex allergy. So hopefully they're not lying. Okay, so I'm gonna, woo, it's liquidy. Huh. I mean, look at that, we're getting a little drip action. Woo, all right, so be careful. That, this looks like it's gonna drip directly in my eye, no problem. All right, Ashley, this is what it looks like for me no matter what kind of eyeliner. Girl, you got this. If I can make this look good, we can make anything look good. You know what I mean? I could like wear dirt. That's what my kid's been doing in the yard, Dorothy. She's literally been wearing dirt as makeup. She's taken her caboodle into the yard and she has been taking her brushes and she's been wearing dirt. So if you guys wanna know how it's been going for me, my daughter, she just called her the dirt warrior. I don't know what else to call her. She literally comes in the house after a full day of playing and she looks like she is a peasant that I have found in the woods. Um, latex free. It's latex free. Truly latex out. Okay, good. All right, girl. All right. These lashes, let me just, I should bring up my other lashes, but see how these lashes do like a little wispy thing. Like they, like they're not all flush in full. They're like, see like there, but then they're like a little bit wispy up here like this. I do not like lashes like that on me at all. I think it looks very odd. I do not understand. Like nobody's lashes in all of the universe does this. Like, like what are these hanging out up there? I don't know what they are, but I do not like them, but that's okay. All right, let's set this down. I, I'm also cheating because I'm using my Mac lash thing, but I want to measure and see what are we going to cut off of here? I did bring my scissors too. Okay, let me see. All right, I'm just going to cut off just a little because we don't want that tail. See how that end, the lashes stop, but there's still a band there? That's got to go because that'll just poke you for a whole day long. And you'll be so super annoyed that you have lashes that are poking you up in the eye. All right, so I'm cutting them with my scissors. I'm also cheating. These are my scissors, but you know, what am I gonna do? I wasn't gonna buy scissors over there. I mean, they would have been a dollar, totally fine. All right, so let's go ahead and bend these out a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. I may not have cut them short enough, but that's all right. All right, I set my glue out, and then I'm gonna take a little, one of these, little tiny, this is from my kit, and I'm just gonna paint it on here. This glue is very thin. It actually makes me a little bit, a little nervous. I just don't want it in my eye. It just burns. When stuff is too liquidy, especially a liner, ugh, it gets down in your eye. It's the worst. What questions do you guys have about applying lash lashes? Okay, Sarah, you said you cannot apply lashes to save your life. All right, here we go. We're, this is Lash Tutorial, Dollar Gentral Lash Tutorial 101. 
So I pulled them off the pan right here, pulled them off and it came with glue. Oh, my mercy, Dollar General. Oh, stepping up its game right here. Oh, look at that little nugget. There you go. They just, these believe, look at that. It says lash glue included. Who would have thought? Could have saved myself a dollar. Okay, so it's goopy feeling. I have tried the magnetic lashes. I do not like magnetic lashes because they pop. So no matter what I do, I've, I've tried, why is this sticking? I've tried um, using the liner. I've tried the double ones and I just feel like the double ones don't get close enough to the lash line. And I'm only blowing on this because they're mine, but if you were a client, I wouldn't be blowing on your eyelashes, just so you know. All right, let me see if these are ready. I'm just gonna snuggle them. All right, so Lash 101. I pulled the lash off of here. If you're looking for a beginner lash, the Ardell 110s are awesome. Anything like, nor like a, a natural lash is great. So the Ardell 110s are awesome. The Kiss Naturals are awesome. I don't know if they have a number. But um, I, would, I get a latex free glue, latex irritates my eyes, so I get a latex free glue and I like duo um, or I like a dark tone. The Kiss glue is great, you can get that at Walgreens. So I went ahead and I measured the lash before I put glue on it and I set it across my lash line to see where I needed to trim because not all lashes are created equal because everyone's eye size and shape is different. These actually look nice. They look nice. That's fine, I'll just put my foot in my mouth. I'll just put my crock in my mouth, guys. It's no problem. All right, so then I set some clear glue out here, whatever your glue is, and I use, you can use the end of a tweezer, um, whatever you wanna use to go ahead all right, let me get these off before I ruin them. Okay, I'm gonna trim these as well. So then you're gonna let them get tacky. You want the glue to get tacky. Hey, Ryan, I will. Um, so let the glue get tacky, okay? Because if it's not tacky, your glue is gonna slip and slide. So if you take your lash like this and you set it on your lash line and it, it's doing this and you can't get it to stay, it's not ready. So take it off, blow on it a little bit more, and then try again. And it should, when you put it on there, if the glue is ready, it should just stick right to your lid. You shouldn't have to worry about it slipping, sliding everywhere. So I'm gonna bend this to the curve of my eye. I've trimmed it just like the other pair. Okie dokie. I'm gonna hold it steady. If you are a beginner, get lash tweezers, okay? Because lash tweezers have a round end on them or just get tweezers with a round end because you don't want to poke your eye out, okay? And if you're using regular tweezers, you're more than likely gonna poke your eye out. I mean, it's just nature, okay? All right, so I'm putting this, this glue on here and I'm also paying special attention to the edges of the lash. I promise I won't blow on yours when you come get your makeup done, but these are mine, so I'm gonna blow on them. Okay. All right, so I blew on it just a hair, but it's been sitting out, so it's probably a little bit tacky, but let's try it. I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna look down. I, I mean, I can apply it here, but I'm gonna look down into a mirror because this exposes your lash line. What that means is when you're looking down and you have a mirror down here versus doing it up here, you're trying to come at the lash versus looking down and you can come above the lash. Does that make sense? So I'm just gonna take my lash because I can see my whole lash line and I'm gonna get it as close to the lash line as possible. You can kind of move it here if you need and then I'm gonna tack end to end. So I'm gonna start with the front or you can start with the back, whatever you wanna do. I moved it down just a hair and then just keep playing with it until it completely sticks, okay? You wanna make sure that it's really on there. That one's secure. All right, this front is kinda of coming up a little bit. I'm gonna give it a minute. 
Okay, let me push this down. All right, this front's not staying, so let's come back to it and give it a little stickeroo. And then you can press it down with your fingers across the lash line just to make sure that it's staying. This wants to play me in this front corner up here. Mm -mm. Okay, if it's not sticking, I'll like, I'll come back to it. It'll be fine. That front, let me double check. All right, down, down, Georgia town. Oh, my eyebrows. You guys cannot see it. My eyebrows look like Amazon woman. Woo, ready to get that done too. Okay, lashes are on, lid is done. Let's do this foundation. I, I'm just, I'm a little bit like, whoo, are we ready for this right here? I'm gonna do a little bit more of this radiant primer under my eyes because I wanna make sure if I wiped any of that off earlier. But so far, the jury's out. The eyeshadow looks good. The lashes are nice. I didn't love the applicator of the liner, but I feel like we're making it work. Yep, lashes are on. That's good. I feel like we're making, we made that liner work right there. All right, so here we go. I, I, dub, I double checked that the security sensor was still on my foundation right here, and y'all know how I feel about my foundations. I've used one for a year. So here we go. Doesn't mean I'm against other foundation. I just find things that I believe in and that I truly, truly, truly love. And that's what I use. Oh. Believe beauty is fancy, darling. I can't believe. Love that right there. All right, let me use this little mixing palette over here. And I'm going to squirt some out. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to use a sponge or a brush, y'all tell me, sponge or brush. I have both. Are we gonna use a sponge or a brush? I do not know if this is the right shade. It's called Warm Vanilla, and I don't know if it's the right shade, but we're gonna, I think it'll be okay. It's super golden, I think it'll be okay. All right, sponge or brush, I have both. This is my Dollar General sponge, and I also have a Morphe brush that I can pounce this all over, and I might just use both brush all right girl first answer was brush here we go all right i'm gonna dip into the side of this foundation the reason that i chose this is because it said it was a skin finish foundation oh this this might be too light but that, that's okay but it said it was a skin finish foundation oh i mean the coverage is nice it's a, a hair, like based upon this, it's a hair light for your girl, but I like that. What, how about we do this side with a sponge? Oh Lord, oh Lord. Um, but I chose this because I did not want a matte foundation at, at all. I just do not want to look, I don't want to look like I've literally like a piece of crepe paper. I get if you have oily skin, but I like really dewy. Oh, man, I feel like I could have gone, no, this is okay. All right. Little bit like, I, could, I wonder if I can build this. I can see a little bit of pink coming through there, but so far, coverage is good. It has a little like soft sheen to it, but maybe that's also the um, primer that we put underneath it. But I'm going to pat this out. Get out of there, hair. Get out of there. All right, I'm cheating on my foundation right now. Just for the sake of this video, folks, for the sake of this video, I'm cheating, but then I'm going back. So don't even, don't test me over this foundation right now. All right, let's do the other side with a sponge to see if we like the coverage of this side. I mean, I have a lot of pink in my skin. This light also is super hot. Let's get them ears. I was totally watching a video the other day on YouTube of a girl doing makeup. I won't say who it is because I don't want to throw any shade, but she was doing makeup and her ears, her whole face was covered, looked so great, and her ears were red as beets. And I'm like, girl, you missed them ears. All right, I do need to get a little brush situation just to get like in here. I know we can do this with concealer, but I want to get like the sides of these nose because it's looking a little like dark right there, but... 
So far, what do we think about our dollar ventral face? So far, so good. I think we can do a little bit more coverage in this situation over here. All right, this looks like it's, I feel like I got more coverage, but maybe I did like a second layer. Who knows? All right, let's go over here a little bit more with this with this Dollar Gentral sponge, and we're gonna build this up right over here. Let's get those ears so I'm not um, being a hypocrite. All right. Let's just, let's just take the sponge all over. All right, what do we think? What do we think so far? Yes, no, maybe so. It's a little bit light. I can never color match. I can help, I can help you, girl. So color matching, like for me, I know that I am tan, but I have a lot of pinks and I have a lot of golden in my skin. So I like to do like a mixture of both. So most of the time I will go with something like a little bit more uh, neutral or a little bit more like the foundation that I use is a cool sand for the Envy. All right, so this I think is, I don't feel like it's giving me like a coverage enough through here, but that's okay. It said that it was a skin finish foundation and it is a medium to full coverage. So that's all right. We can build it up if I guess if we want to, but let's just do concealer. All right, I got this LA Girl concealer. We also use this on the lid. And I'm just gonna put the brush. This just pooted on me. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna use the brush and I'm gonna put it right, right on. Okay, same. The other um, one that they had, the next shade down did not, it just seemed like way too dark for me. So I like a nice light under eye and I still feel like you can mix it with something else if you wanted to. All right, I'm gonna go back in with this little brush. I mean, all right, we're gonna take this brush. This is the Morphe. This is actually one of my favorite under eye blending brushes. This is the Morphe M334. And what I like about it, I feel like I could have gone darker on my foundation. Compared to my body, it's a little bit light, but maybe this bronzer will come through for me. Otherwise, I'm gonna start putting that dark eyeshadow on my face. That's all right, y'all. All right, so we're gonna pat this in. I love this brush because it's like a mini Kabuki brush for your under eyes, and you can get those little tiny places, and it blends and it pushes all at the same time. So the M334 is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, here we go, here we go. All right, now I feel like I look like a ghost. That's all right, we're gonna work this out right now. Y'all don't even know nothing. Y'all don't even know nothing about this. I'm gonna go, remember, okay. Any of my OG followers on here, are you on here when I did the It Cosmetics tutorial? Is anybody? It Cosmetics, does anybody remember my It Cosmetics tutorial and I got that concealer? Who sells the brushes? Morphe sells this particular brush. All right, I will say, although it's light, my skin looks nice. Um, but anyway, if you have been an OG follower when I did my It Cosmetics review, my, I literally looked white as a ghost and I was dying and I hated the product that I had used. I think it was a concealer so much that I threw it in the video. Oh, we were just, it was a great day. It was a great fun, fun tutorial. Okay, so I'm going back with my loose powder. This is my LA, LA Colors loose powder. I'm gonna pretend that it's Laura Mercier translucent and I'm hoping it's going to make me look darker because this powder is light but it looks skin like I don't know if that if that makes sense but we're going to pat this on up in this under eye okay and the other thing is this foundation is like pretty much dry I don't know if that it's a little bit like sticky and tacky but it's pretty much dry all right, it's all right, it's all right. Okay, this brush is Morphe E49. It's the perfect under eye setting brush. I don't even know if it's supposed to be for under eye setting, but I have five of them, I think, and yes. 
under eye setting, Morphe E49. All right, okay, that powder is nice. I probably will keep this powder. I use every day the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder, but this LA Colors in Light, I like it. My under eyes too are not crepey at all. Mm. There's no creasing on either side, the sponge side or the brush side. The brush side is, it looks a little like heavier in person, so to speak, but not terrible, other than the fact that your girl is Casper. All right, so I am praying this makeshift highlight and contour, the Morphe Blend Brush part of a set. No, I think you just buy them from, I think they're, I think the E is the Elite Collection, so when you go on there, this is just the M, so I don't know what this is just with an M, but the E is the Elite Collection. All right, so let's go in with our bronzer. because I need warmth right now. I need to bring this all back to life. I need color. I need to look like I've been at the beach. Morphe M553. Okay, this is really, um, this is, I guess, fine so far, but it's very fluffy. Mm -hmm. It's very powdery. But I'm, I'm looking alive right now. We're bringing it together. Number for the under eye concealer brush. That is the M334 from Morphe. That's the under eye concealer. What was the brand foundation? From the Dollar General store? It is called Baby Believe Beauty. And it's their semi-matte foundation right there from the dollar store. It was $5. And the shade that I'm using that's a hair too light All right, I'm coming to life. I feel like I need to just keep keep this going all over because I want to look like I have color. And I'm a bronzer girl. Your girl is a bronzer girl right here. So I need... It's looking a little patchy. Do you guys see that? That's a little bit odd, but do you see how it's like picking up in some places and not in the other. Can I get a heart or a like? See here, look, right there and it's right there. I'm using the same brush, let me see. This one is okay, but I feel like my pink is coming through. Mm. Well, I guess we gotta just have spots, but this is definitely like patchy through there. It's not going, I mean, this is $5 makeup, folks. I mean, what, what do we expect, okay? We're doing the best we can with what we are given during this quarantine, my Lord have mercy. All right. Okay, I, this is probably as good as it's gonna get. It is a little splotchy over here, but we're gonna give this palette grace. I also did not, I did not get a, uh, a blush. Big mistake. I'm a blush girl, so we're gonna pretend and we're gonna use the one that's in this palette. I don't really need too much because I'm already pink as it is. But as much color as I can get on this face is, is what I'm going to do. All right. This is okay. Let's wait. I need to see. What does this look like? Woo! Not bad. That's really pretty. But this is for um, medium deep. That's a lie. A deep person could, this would not work on them. But that's okay. We're going to just... We're gonna let them have it, but this is not gonna work. Okay, this though might. I'm anxious to see what does this look like on an eyelid. Ooh, pretty. This gold is actually really pretty. And it's it's a little bit like smooth and creamy. I'm actually I'm actually impressed because I would use that as like a gold eyeshadow, like on the regular, actually, especially like I don't have a setting spray, so I can't spritz my brush. I don't even have one out. But I'm just gonna put this right on the eyelid. It's a little bit, let's see if we can do it up under here. Mm, that really doesn't do anything, does it? Can you see it? Can y'all see it? Yes or no? Maybe a little. That's all right. 
All right, we did our best. We did our best with this palette. The only reason I would get this is for this. The rest of this, the rest of this can go. Um, this LA Colors powder is a yes. All right, the other things I have not done, oh gosh, is our mascara or our lips and our eyebrows. And the other thing I haven't done is put eyeshadow underneath. I feel like I need a little, but I, I'm scared to do that too with this eyeshadow. All right, here we go with, we're gonna, we're gonna try to get it out of here. All right, so I guess if your foundation, if it sounds like it's the right shade, maybe go a shade darker because this, like a warm, what is this called? Warm vanilla, and this was like starting to go into the deep complexion side. I was like, oh, this should be perfect. I mean, don't you feel like this looks darker than what it looks like on my face? Is that just me? This looks more golden and darker than it does on my face. I feel like my face looks light. Like, I feel like if I was using this and didn't want my face to look quite as dark, I'd be like, oh, perfect. But that's all right, guys. That's all right. All right, here we go. This is our waterproof mascara, and I want to put a little on my natural lashes, and I love putting mascara on fake lashes every time. I think it just makes them look long and luscious, and anything that I can use from the dollar spot, I'm gonna use it. Here we go, okay, girl. We'll see if it's truly waterproof, if it's all under my eyes. Okay. All right, now we look like we got some Shazam lashes up in here. Hello. All right, let's do a little bit underneath and we're gonna do the brows and lips, but y'all, I just put some of this under here. This brush is humongous, actually. It's, this is the LA Colors Waterproof Mascara and the brush is legit humongous. So I don't love a big brush, but that's all right. I can, I can take a little bit of dollar mascara. All right. Okay. All right, y'all, brows and lips. Let's just, let's just, all right, here we go. Just feel like just a newborn trying to get this makeup out of here. All right, I got light, medium. Not, they're trying to play some Anastasia games right here. You see this? Um, Believe has mascara too that, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go back in there. All right, I'm gonna start the bottom. Oh gosh, all right, I'm gonna go light-handed. Y'all know I don't like a super like brow. That's just not your girl, okay? I like a natural filled in brow and every single day I use the NYX. All right, I'm gonna start at the bottom. Every single day I use the NYX brow gel every day in my eyebrows. And I think I use either espresso or chocolate and then when my hair gets lighter, I'll go lighter. But all right, so let's go ahead and just fill these in. Lord, let me not fill in what I haven't plucked out yet. Because if that's the case, I, could, I should just fill in way down here. <laughs> you can't see them, but I promise you they're there. All right, so I'm just gonna do a little fillage through the front. All right. Ow, honey! Let me just... Oh, I'm like, who is here? All righty, so let me go ahead and fill this in. All right, and then I'm gonna go up here. All right, how we doing? How we doing? Brows, this, this isn't a terrible brow pencil either, guys. I probably will keep this brow pencil. So let me just fade up through here. This is actually a, a perfectly fine brow pencil. All right, let me just go through here. I mean, the brows look rather nice, actually. So let's just flick up in the front, and then I'm gonna brush it through with the little spoolie it comes with, 
And your girl is keeping this brow pencil. Yes, I am. I'm keeping the brow pencil. This is a winner. That was the easiest eyebrows. Whoa! I'm just... Do I look too excited, though? I mean, since this quarantine, my forehead's moving more and more, you know what I'm saying? This is the bomb. This is the LA Colors Browy Wowy Brow Pencil in light medium. This is a yes. Bailey, y'all are on point. Some of your Dollar Tree makeup. I'm not taking this back. I am not taking this back. All right. So, the other thing that I wanted to do, I'm almost done, promise, almost done. This has been so great. So, I'm going to come into this right here. I did not get a highlight, and I'm going to see if this works as like a little bit of eyeshadow, and we're going to, oh yes, we're going to be glowing to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Glowing to the Lord. Let's just make me even lighter. I mean, in the spirit of looking like a ghost... I mean, why not? Who cares? Let's put it on the nose. Okay, okay. On, a little on the chin. All right, let's do some of this lip color. Y'all already heard me at the beginning. If you've, if you've been on here the whole time, you've heard that I like these already. So you probably already know that. So let's put some of this on right here. Trying to get sassy during quarantine. But figured y'all would think I always do pink because, well, I always do pink. But not today, folks. Okay. Mm -mm. Now I feel like I really look like I have no color on this face. I need some, I need some 911 bronzer or something. 911, this is an emergency. I should just call them and be like. All right, right now I'm mixing these two together because this is a 911. I switched brushes. I'm just lying to y'all through and through. All right, this is the MAC 187. I just need all the color, all the color. Okay, let's put some up here. Let's just get it dark. I'm gonna look like I have been just suntanned. Okay, how we doing? How we doing? Yo, I am ready now. I am ready for the day. Here we go. What do we think? What do we think about our Dollar General makeup? By golly, I think we did it. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this lip color is also from the Dollar Tree. This is called Believe Beauty, called Cherry on Top. And I think this was $5 too. Most of their $4, most of their lips are like 4 or $5. Okay, and here we go. I am popping on some CB accessories. I mean, how cute are these earrings? These are called Slice of Summer. And then of course we have the adorable beaded bracelets in four colors. So now I am like Memorial Day ready, whether I'm doing Memorial Day nothing, AKA laying in the yard, if we're still on quarantine. Otherwise y'all, I'm coming in hot with the red, white, and blue. And I actually do like these lashes. I have lied to y'all multiple times in this video. Um, but if I can do any kind of makeup with Dollar Gentral makeup, y'all can do anything you set your mind to. That's just the truth right there. So I am impressed, actually. And I some things I like didn't think I would like, but... Most of it I really like, actually. So the brow pencil was off the chart. I think that was probably my favorite thing. The brow pencil and the lip color are completely off the chart. 
I love it. So let me know what y'all think about this final look because we are just chewing it over here. I spent, it, I think it was $47 well spent, okay? So I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep most of it. You never know when you need a backup plan, okay? And you never know when quarantine is gonna keep you on a tighter budget for even longer. So hopefully Virginia will open up soon. And um, but you know what? Let's not shade these dollar spots anymore because maybe, maybe they know what they're talking about. Maybe all of these brands should be a dollar. I mean, would that not be the quarantine special of the year, okay? Is that every brand goes down to a dollar because if Dollar General can sell things for a dollar, okay? Or five dollars, I think that Anastasia and Benefit and all these other can too. So anyways, um, earrings are by me, CameronBCarson.com. Um, there's a shop right on there if you guys wanna go also check out some of the amazing accessories. So these are Slice of Summer. And then of course there's a bracelet section too. So um, of course we need to have our glam. We're gonna have our spray tan. You can get your hair. Um, come get a formal updo or some beautiful curls. I mean, we have the makeup. We are gonna have it all going on and I cannot wait to be back. So thanks for tuning in. Like and share this video. Let me know if there's any more fun ones that you wanna see and I'll be back soon. Y'all be good. Bye.